everybody i am russ this is chris Hokie's right there and you saw Hokie right there at the start of the show that is probably not a way to start the show with the clap Hokie. yeah appreciate it like <laughs> especially not in uniform again <laughs> man i had my jacket where is your red my jacket i wear i can wear one or the other where is it Hokie? i wear the jacket where when i go out in public i put the jacket on why should if I wear it's the jacket, february hokey it's february it's 80 degrees <laughs> why are you wearing a jacket when i go to the doctor later <laughs> i'll wear the jacket i can draw i'll draw it on there i'll draw it on your shirt that's right ladies and gentlemen at 9 30 this morning well the show will be up about 10 so you'll just miss it by 30 minutes <clears throat> hokey's heading that way to the doctor to get his cranial looked at I was trying to figure out a way to give away $20 today or $50 or something on the Super Bowl, but that would mean they'd have to call in now or something. Because I was listening, you're going to talk about Super Bowl parties, yeah. and I got some stats on that too, but Kelly Clarkson, right? if you put $100, if you put $100 on her singing the national anthem, will she wear a dress or not? Oh, okay. Kelly Clarkson, if you put $100 on and she wears a dress, you make $180, $140. Like it. If she doesn't, you'd make $80. Oh, you still win. Well, yeah. But, but you got to pick the right one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Madonna, will she wear a fishnet or not? She will lip sync. Totally agree. Elton John called it. I think she <clears> does <throat> lip sync, and everybody's talking about her performance, and I'm like, God, please lip sync, please lip sync, please lip sync. My thing on Kelly Clarkson is, my question is, is she going to wear a moo moo? Kelly Clarkson? She's probably going to wear well, a moo Well, it depends on which Kelly Clarkson it is. Is it the big Luther or the little Luther? So, you don't know I, which Kelly Clarkson is going to show up. I saw her say that live the other day. I thought she was on some kind of like steroids, she, like Jerry Lewis. That she oh, well, she'll sound great. She kind of goes up and down. She I think she sounds better the bigger she is. Well, if, if her performance goes up by weight, she'll be great. I, I found my American Idol winner. It was on last night. The first She's guy? The, the, well, there's two. The first guy and the last girl. Those are my two that make it to the top five. I'm they going with the guy for sure. make it to the top five. The dude was good looking. The chick was Down homely, home. homely, but with makeup and with the artist up there today that make Steven Tyler still look good. Alive, I should say. Four hours of hair and makeup he goes through yeah. each show just to look Almost alive. Are you upset? And I'm going to go right into the story. Are you upset Josh Hamilton had a relapse? We're Texas Ranger fans. Yeah. Because the last time it cost him two years in the major league. No, no, no. He had a relapse with the bar, and he told the team, and the, they, he kept playing, and he's fine. He, he just. No, but in his past, he got in trouble with drugs and alcohol, and he got suspended from the major leagues for two years. Yeah, but he's already came back, played, went through <laughs> one relapse. This is the second while he's still playing. This oh, didn't cost him anything. We hope not. But how tough, I wonder how tough is addiction. I mean, I don't, I don't know. How tough is it? How hard is it to stay sober for, you know, a year, and then all of a sudden go, I, man, I, dang, I need that beer. I need that drink. I don't. That's a tough one for me, man. I don't know, but they said Ian. He, they everybody started posting it, right? And Ian Kinsler heard it and went down to the bar to try to get him out. And uh, he said, "Move, get move back. I'll keep drinking." All right, we'll see what happens. With I hope nothing on that happens, story, man. Details I hope on that story. Happens. Are you a Super Bowl party person? I'm on the front camera. Are you a Super Bowl party person? Do you enjoy? What is the big thing about Super Bowl parties? Dude, we gotta have a party. Ah, dang, gotta have a Super Bowl party. Nothing for me. I mean, I would rather stay home and have a few friends over and it not be that Super Party because at those parties, I can't hear the commercials. Right, right, I love right. the commercials. So the big party aspect ain't, ain't okay. a great deal. Okay, speaking of that, are you upset that they're releasing them all now? You can watch every commercial Via the Hulu, you can watch every Super Bowl commercial that's coming on. In fact, the one about the, 
the, the guy where he's jumping up and down about the car. Yeah, about his car, and it's really the refrigerators is present. That's already been shown twice, but that's, I don't know whose it is. That's their commercial for the Super Bowl. Yeah, I won't. Uh, Every commercial I won't go search shown. them. I'll, I'll watch the ones I missed the day after, but I won't go search them to see them. So that's I mean, what that, I'm that, saying. That's is part of my it? Super Bowl tradition is to watch the commercials. All right. So me about the party, I like going and hanging out. I'm not going to have anybody over because that means you got to clean up after people. So I'm going to go over to, you know, my buddy's house, watch them, have some chips and a couple of Diet Mountain Dews pop and some Diet uh, Teas and uh, watch the Super Bowl. Don't care who wins. My prediction is the Giants destroy the New England Patriots. I say they beat them by 14. <clears throat> I'm going with the Patriots. Uh, somewhere between seven and ten points. I, I'm gonna stay with them. I'm not somebody that jumps off, and you know I am not rooting for. I'm going with. The I'm not rooting for those guys. But uh, back I, to Super Bowl party. I got you, I got you. Did you did you look through the deal? I'm <coughs> no, I'm no. Sure I was, I was if just you hadn't been it. on Yahoo or, or MSN, I would forget where I get these. Americans will consume 1.25 billion wings. Yep, I saw that. Nine million pieces of pizza. Twenty-seven billion calories just in chips alone. Fifty-one point seven million cases of beer. Yeah, I can see that. Dot you Mountain will beer. consume beer and snacks, twelve hundred calories during the game. No doubt. Uh, if you're in Indianapolis. And you used to stay next to the airport in the uh, Roach Moach Hotel. Cost you $39. This week, cost you $725. <laughs> and antacid sales will go up 20% on Monday. No doubt. I look forward to the. I know I'm having wings. <laughs> right. I know I'm having some uh, peppers, you know, wrapped peppers. May, may change the light a little. Wrapped peppers. So I'm excited about that. So I, I, I know I'm going to be eating, but I'm going to hit my... My cardio this afternoon, so maybe I can, and, and tomorrow, and Sunday, hopefully I can make it. All right, I got something. Off the Super Bowl now. Okay. Ellen DeGeneres, Ellen DeGeneres is, something's going on over there. Heard some rattling. Is the spokesperson for JCPenney. And One Million Moms, which is part of the American Family Association, is... Pissed off. Why do we have a gay homosexual representing such a wholesome family department store? I don't know what's going to happen with that. But this is totally, I mean, do you, do you care? No. Do you care about that? I don't either. It's just one of those deals to, to be upset about. I don't really get it. Uh, it's one of them deals. It's <laughs> something to gripe about. I got a question, too. What? If you was to win one million dollars in the lottery, would your life change? You would get a lump sum of seven hundred thousand dollars if you if you, you said that. Would your life change? No. Twenty-one year old college student in Florida won a million dollars and still goes to work at the Mexican restaurant. She went, that ain't very much money. She's a straight A student. Going to help pay her college with it and keep moving on. No, it, it helps. It, it benefits a few people, you know, my parents and stuff. But for me, I know what I want to do. My path is set. I'm going to keep doing it. Maybe you know, a trip or something every once in a money, while. But... Money will allow me to make my projects easier, maybe a little faster. That's about it. Speaking of projects, the new movie's coming out. If you guys haven't seen it, The, the Hunger Games. Right. And it's supposed to be... And I think Mo got this confused because last night he told me, he said, hey, man, can I borrow Chris's car? I want to go, I want, and I went, you, you taking mine. So, he, so he, that, that's, that's why, why my car is sitting over here. Yeah, and, and I think he's still asleep in it. And I think he thought the Hunger Games was about food. Let me go see. Hang on. I can only imagine. Mo. Uh. Mo, wake up. Uh. We're doing the morning show. Oh, it's now. What are you? Why are you? What are you doing? Uh, use this car. Yes. Where's, where's the popcorn girl? She. 
Did you see a girl leave? No, but there was three guys that just got out of the back of the car and left the studio, and I, I didn't know what was going on. That explains a lot. But uh, Hey, well, get out and roll uh, my window up and lock it up. Oh, well, about that, I uh, see. You better not be stuck to the seat either. Oh, that, a little bit. Oh, uh, about the keys. I don't have the keys. I don't know how the car even got in here. And there's a bunch of wires down here, so I think something got hot-wired. But let me something. ask you this. Uh-huh. Do you have any idea about the Hunger Games, besides it's not about being hungry? I know that, uh... <clears throat> hang on. <coughs> the Hunger Games is about these, like, eight-year-olds that get thrown in, a, like, a zoo, and people hunt them like dogs. And that's, that's, but that, I don't know, because I haven't seen the movie yet. Did they come out now? No, they just released the trailer. It's getting ready to come out. Oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll be there for that one for sure. Well, I know I won't be there. I'll watch the Handycam version. So, All what's right, coming hey. out this week? Do you know? I don't know, because I'm not, that you, you do oh, our movie reviews. Oh, well, I don't know if there'll be a movie review. I'll tell you what. You know what? Just Pat's over Giants by a touchdown. Be, All right, be quiet. All right, Chris, take it away. I don't know how we're going to get rid of that, dude. I don't know. It's Hoke's cousin. Hoke's going to the doctor. If Hoke does not come back, that okay. means Moe's going to be here. And you ever heard, you know, the flush sound? Put the flush sound in right here. <laughs> I'm not excited that. about the Hunger Games. Are you? Yeah, I really am. And I'm not, <clears throat> and it's just because of the hype, like, it doesn't have a lot of, and I, what I've seen so far, it doesn't have a lot of CG in it. You know, like Harry Potter, just, oh. But I'm excited to see the action in it, you know, that it's all about eight kids trying to kill each other, so. I think the fight sequences will probably happen. That's probably all I care about. You know, the story's irrelevant to me. But anyway, that's what I'm looking for. Man, it is Friday. And Friday. you know what's going on today? I have no idea. Arrow Child and Family Missions are at Three Spoons from 12 to 2. Don't forget that. Go by, help support that foundation, and uh, hold up three fingers when you order like that. And no yeah. telling what you'll get. Yeah. <laughs> really, no telling what you'll get. <laughs> you might you get more than expected. Three fingers. Hold up three. Three fingers. It is Friday. Everybody be careful, man. Have a great weekend. Monday, and I'll remember to say this again, Monday, 3 o'clock, we're on 106.7. You will get to hear Max and Cody, who is the star of Live or Die. They're going to be jawing back and forth since they're, you know, they work together. Uh, I'm excited about that to hear what they've got to say to each other. Hopefully so, it's ad lib so, and yeah. Max does not have to remember his part. Nope, he killed it the other day. What's your final Super Bowl predictions for the show? I'm going. New York Giants will beat the New England Patriots. 34-14. Pats by at least a touchdown. So I'm, I'm going this. I'm agreeing with Mo. Pats by a touchdown. That dude is an idiot. Did you just not watch that? <clears throat> I, who do you think was one of the three guys? Good and call. if Good you call. put one hundred dollars that the winning coach will be doused in blue Gatorade, you can win a thousand bucks. Yeah, you're gonna lose that one. I don't think they the last year played. the Giants won it. It was purple. Yeah, good call. And they don't even have a bet on purple, so good I don't call. know how that's good gonna call. work. Man, everybody have a great weekend, and until Monday, I am Russ. This is Chris. Hokey's there. Moe's in there in Chris's car, and I think he broke your window. We are oh, out of here. Oh, no, no. Monkey grease.